Hey everyone, it's Vinny here for another edition of Cap of the Week. We welcome you to our second season. I started this off a couple of months ago with just showing off my caps and a lot of the support from the YouTube community has been really great, so I, re I really appreciate that. So I'm going to keep going, keep showing my caps, and let's get on with our first cap of the second season. This is the Texas Rangers. Now the Texas Rangers were the second incarnation of the Washington Senators in 1961. Following the 1971 season, owner Bob Short moved the team to Arlington where they played for, well they're still playing in Arlington now, but they played at Arlington Stadium for about 20 years. So this is, this is an iteration of the Rangers cap from circa 1986 to 1993. So this era is predominantly remembered for Nolan Ryan later in his career with all of his no hitters, of course battling and you know, bruising Robin Ventura. Also had Juan, a young Juan Gonzalez, you had Pudge Rodriguez, you had Bobby Valentine managing the team. I believe they won 87 games in 87, so they were a pretty good team. They had Julio Franco, they had Ruben Sierra. They were a really stacked team on offense, and, and unfortunately I think their pitching was really the problem with the team. But this was a solid cap, so let's take a look. So this is a new era cap, circa 1987. This is a block T, a, a raised embroidery, very nice. Uh, it's actually not raised, but it's, it is like a very fine printing. And take a look, royal blue with a little red dot at the top. We flip it over, you can see here green underbrim. I believe the Rangers were green until the late 80s, and then they had gray underbrim with this cap style through 1993. We take a look, as you may be familiar now, the official licensee logo for Major League Baseball. We have our hang tag for New Era, DuPont visor, weatherized, pre-shrunk, perspiration proof and a simple size seven. And what's really awesome, of course, is these were, with these tags, these were the last iteration of caps to have this built-in sweat liner. So I learned from the ball cap blog. By the way, a shout out to ball cap blog for, oh, for the runner who runs that site. Great job, by the way. You really helped me find out more information about ball caps. So take a look um, at ball cap blog here if you ever want to know more about caps. But this style of cap, I think, was probably one of my favorites. Um, I've got a couple of others in this style. I have a New York Mets cap uh, with this style with that liner. It fits really true to form, so um, don't get something that's smaller. I would recommend, uh, you know, getting your size or one, uh, you know, a size bigger. But the cap itself is very solid, uh, solidly built. You don't ever have to worry about it, like sweating or anything like that. So it's really a simple cap and after the 1993 season the team moved into new digs uh, the ballpark in Arlington and they changed their color style from predominantly blue to predominantly red and since 2000 they've roughly been in an identity crisis switching between blue and red but it was really they had really classy uniforms as, as well a script Rangers uh, logo in white um, and their Texas uh, block t the block T was used in their Texas road uniforms uh, probably the, one of the funniest baseball clips of all time is Jose Canseco in 93 when he was playing with the Rangers the last year the style was used at Cle an old Cleveland Stadium home run it's a home run except the ball goes off his head and into the and over the fence for a home run so uh, this cap certainly has seen some interesting uh, moments in baseball anyway I'm really happy to be back at cap of the week more caps will be coming and we'll I'll try to get the other teams I've left off from first season until next time see ya